एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू हडूप एंड इट्स प्रॉज एंड कॉन्स आई होप इट्स क्लियर टू यू ऑल नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ हडूप एट अ ग्लैंस सो द फर्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इन साइड द आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ हडूप इज द एच डी एफ एस विच इज हडूप डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड फाइल सिस्टम नाउ वॉट इट इज यूज फॉर इट इज यूज फॉर स्टोरेज ऑफ द डेटा in a distributed manner and this distributed data will be stored in the form of blocks there will be a specific size of each block hadoop distributed file system also include an architecture which is master slave architecture this hdfs includes components like name node secondary name node and data node each of this component perform different functionality and they work in coordination the next component inside the architecture of hadoop is map reduce map reduce is used for the processing of the data that is stored in the distributed manner as i said that the big data is divided into different blocks each block will be associated with a processor and that processor will process the data and will give the output so this map reduce also contains master slave architecture inside which we have components like job tracker task tracker which is associated with each data node and these will try to schedule the task and will carry out the task efficiently on every data node the next component in the hadoop architecture is the yarn which is yet another resource negotiator so this yarn component will manage the resources that are required and also it will be used for job scheduling so you can see it does resource management and job scheduling also there are many more advantages of using yarn inside the hadoop architecture yarn is a key feature that was provided in the second generation of hadoop architecture yarn also supports different types of data processing now the next component of the hadoop architecture is the hadoop common utilities these hadoop common utilities are kind of libraries or files that are developed purely in java language and these files does the work of supporting all the components inside the hadoop architecture for easy and better execution of storage and processing of the data i am sure that you guys have now got an overview of the architecture of hadoop and its components in the upcoming videos we will be looking into all these components in detail we will be looking into the execution as well as the architecture of each and every component inside it with interesting and fruitful examples which will surely give you a clear idea of how the data is stored and processed inside the hadoop systems stay tuned for that and for more such videos like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram thank you for watching